Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny. Welcome back to another news video. Today is a bit different. We're not necessarily talking about FNAF news in particular. Instead, we're talking about something that could relate to some possible massive FNAF news coming down the road. Because I was doing some digging online and I found some very interesting news in regards to Blumhouse, who are making the FNAF film. And if the news we're talking about in today's video actually does go through, that's some very, very good signs for not only some FNAF projects over at Blumhouse, but also basically every other project they're working on. So if you're excited about this movie news, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're brand new. But before we talk about that movie news, I gotta mention something else that's incredible. And that is, of course, the Opera GX browser, a special version of the Opera browser that is built specifically for gamers. They also have GX Mobile, which you can connect to your desktop version. Opera GX has been a loyal supporter of this channel. I use them every single day. With their social media integrations like Twitch, Discord, and TikTok, it makes staying in the loop very, very easy while in the browser. They've got a whole bunch of customizable options for the browser itself so you can make it fit your taste. There's gonna be a link to download Opera GX on desktop or mobile in the description. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. And now, let's talk about that Blumhouse news. So back in November, the New York Times released an article titled Hollywood Horror Blockbuster. Two leading producers will soon join forces. Jason Blum and James Wan are in advanced talks to merge their companies and create a massive horror film factory. The article goes on to talk about how Jason Blum wants Blumhouse to grow a lot. He is pushing for Blumhouse to make at least eight horror movies for release in theaters each year, up from the three or four it has historically delivered. Meaning, if this merger actually goes through, we'll be getting double the amount of Blumhouse content we're already getting. And he wants to make another slate of horror flicks for Peacock, NBC Universal streaming service. So that's double the movies and also brand new television series. Mr. Blum Blum and Mr. Wan declined to discuss the contours of the proposed deal, except to say that Atomic Monster, which is James Wan's company, would become a creatively autonomous label inside of Blumhouse and have a first look deal with Universal, which is a pretty big deal, especially because Atomic Monster currently has a deal with Warner Brothers. So if they decide to merge with Blumhouse, not only do the two combine, still operating as separate labels, they'll also be under the works of Universal, which again would be just absolutely massive. Blumhouse already wants to make over double the movies they're making currently, also TV series. Combining these two companies would lead to massive, massive potential with the universes they already have set in stone, with James Wan being the co-creators of franchises such as Saw and also Insidious, and Atomic Monster being the main production company behind the Conjuring universe and all the films in that. They've already got some pretty massive IPs under their belt. That's also not taking into account what Blumhouse has, which is just as impressive. Blumhouse House has uh, franchises such as Paranormal Activity, also Insidious, they worked on that together, The Purge, the recent Halloween films, Black Phone was a recent massive success, Invisible Man, Freaky, Happy Death Day, so just some massive IPs as well. So you can only imagine just how powerful they would be if they combined forces. James Wan and Jason Blum also recently worked on Megan, which released this month. If you haven't seen it, I'll tell you right now, it was absolutely fantastic. Also involves a killer animatronic doll. And personally, after seeing that, it gives me really, really high hopes for the FNAF movie with how they're able to deal with animatronic creatures. And Megan was an absolutely insane, massive hit. It made back its money, I believe, over double its budget in its first opening weekend. And the other day, it was revealed that their next movie, which is going to be titled Night Swim, is already in the works with a January 19th, 2024 release date. And going back to that New York Times article we talked about earlier, it says Universal is so pleased with how Megan turned out that it is already talking about a Megan sequel. TikTok posts tagged with hashtag Megan have been viewed 300 million times since the trailer was released a month ago. And keep in mind, this is back in November when we only got trailers. Imagine how popular it is now that the movie's actually out. So, I mean, if they're already talking about making sequels purely based on internet attention alone before the movie's even out yet, I mean, just think about another movie that, when that trailer comes out, is also going to generate a lot of buzz on the internet. That's right, I'm talking about the FNAF movie. I can only imagine they'll instantly be greenlighting a second FNAF movie 
which would be pretty cool. We do know Scott's original plan. Well, I say original. <laughs> the movie's been in development hell for like seven years at this point. But it was around 2019 when he did that interview with Darko. He mentioned how ideally there'd be three FNAF movies based on the first three games. And honestly, it seems like that mindset is becoming increasingly more likely as time goes on with this merger talking about Blumhouse wanting to do more movies. And who knows, maybe we can also get a FNAF show. And also about how the people behind the films look online to see, all right, how many people are talking about this film just based on trailers alone can we get another film in the works which again is already the case with megan you can see just how many memes and you know clips of megan dancing in that hallway got reposted online universal saw that attention and they thought oh, shoot if the trailer alone is getting this much hype why not already make plans for a sequel and again megan was just an absolute hit at the box office so i wouldn't be shocked if we're definitely 100% getting that sequel. And of course, right as I'm exporting this video, we get confirmation from Jason that Megan 2 is officially in early development. This is a tweet from Universal Horror, a Twitter account that of course tweets out news on horror films by Universal. So this is basically the nail in the coffin that if your trailer generates a butt ton of hype, even before your film gets released, it's still entirely possible for more films in that franchise to be greenlit. So really, really hoping, again, once the trailer for the FNAF movie comes out, that's going to get a whole bunch of buzz because it's it's been in development for a very, very long time. And hopefully it looks good and hopefully a lot of people get talking about it. Would love to hear that based on that initial reaction alone, more films would be coming down the pipeline, especially because the FNAF film is already very, very popular with Blumhouse. Jason has said it's one of his most talked about most commented films in his twitter reply so already there's a bunch of demand for it everyone keeps pestering jason 24 7 about the film so here's to hoping for the best frankly it's just a good time to be a horror movie fan i mentioned all the ips that atomic monster and blumhouse have on their own again just imagine what they're going to be able to do if they actually do join forces double the movies more tv series also besides blumhouse news walter hamada just signed a deal with paramount pictures so it looks like blumhouse is not the only company who's looking to strengthen their horror division. Paramount has also been on a kill, quite literally, with their horror films recently. Smile, Orphan the First Kill, Scream 5, we've also got Scream 6 coming out this year. So yeah, horror fans are eating absolutely fantastic. It's like a Thanksgiving dinner here, and hopefully sitting at that Thanksgiving dinner will also be FNAF fans. Once we get that trailer this year and the producers see all the buzz it's generating online and they greenlight a second, maybe even a third movie with Scott's original vision in mind, I I feel like that would just be the absolute best outcome. So I'd love to know what do you think about all the horror movie news. I know this wasn't necessarily a FNAF news video, but I thought all this news was very interesting. And like I said, I'm just praying for the absolute best outcome with the FNAF movie. It starts filming very, very soon on the 1st of February, and it's going to wrap up filming in April. So hopefully sometime middle of this year, we can expect a trailer. Well, that's going to do it for this news video. Once again, huge thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. If you want to go download it, it's linked down below. And I'll see you all on the flip side, goodbye.